Part 1. What we learned was that to make an equation, okay, it's going to be x squared minus the sum of the roots. And the sum of the roots, uh, whatever that number is, you put an x beside it, plus the product of the roots. Now, product of the roots means you multiply them, and sum of the roots means you add them. And that all equals zero. So, for example, in question 27, the sum is 3 plus 5i, uh, and then you add on 3 minus 5i. Now, what will always happen is, in all these equations, you'll never ever end up with an i value. They always disappear. So we're going to get 3 plus 3, which is 6. So that's going to be a 6 in here. And then the product of the roots is going to be 3 plus 5i. And then 3 minus 5i. And this is the product in blue. 3 multiplied by 3, 9. 3 multiplied by 5i minus 15i. 3 multiplied by 5i plus 15i. 5i multiplied by minus 5i minus 25i squared. 15 i's as predicted cancel. Now what's uh, minus 25 i squared? Plus, plus 25. 25 plus 9? 34. 34. So guys, the answer there, that would be 34. So the answer is going to be x squared minus 6x uh, plus 34 equals 0. Is that okay? Okay. Now, we're going to move on to number, uh, we're going to move on to uh, part 28, okay? Now, number 28, once again, sum of the roots means add them together. The roots are 4i and minus 4i. What happens when you add them together? Zero. So the sum is zero. Okay? Now we're on the product. And the product is what you means you multiply them together. So it's going to be 4i multiplied by minus 4i. We're just going to get us minus 16i squared. It's minus 16i squared is? Minus 16 times minus 1? 16. So the answer for this one is going to be the sum of the roots is 0. So it doesn't count. The product of the roots? 16. So we're going to get x squared plus 16 equals 0. Is that okay? Alright guys, now moving on to 32. Now, what I asked us about 32 was that in all these questions for complex numbers, if this one is a root, what does it mean the other root is? The other root has to be the conjugate. Because look at in all the previous questions, you always have plus or minus. Which is, a, which, is a, which is a root and it's conjugate. So remember, we're going to do the exact same thing as last time. x squared minus sum times x plus product. Okay? So what we're going to get here is this. Uh, the sum is going to be, when you add them together, what you get? Uh, zero. Uh, zero i and minus six. Because minus three minus three. Okay, that's for the sum. So the sum is minus 6, and then the product is going to be minus 3 minus 3i multiplied by minus 3 plus 3i. Okay, so what's this, uh, Connor? Minus 3 times minus 3? Plus 9. Plus 9 minus 3 times minus 3i. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, minus 3 times minus, uh, plus 3i. Minus 9i. Minus 9i. Minus 3i times minus 3? Plus 9i, and then minus 3i times 3i. Minus 9i squared. Okay? So what you get? 9i plus 9, minus 9i plus 9i? 0. Minus 9 times minus 1? 9. 9 plus 9? 18. So the answer to this is going to be x squared. Uh, what's minus minus 6? Plus 6x six. Plus six and 18. What does that mean about the letters? M is 6. 6. N is 18. Does